Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would share with you what I eat in a day. My family and I don't have any dietary requirements. We don't have any intolerances, which I am so thankful for. And I'm also not currently trying to lose weight, although I do try and watch what I eat, but I am not restrictive in any way. So I just thought I'd give you a little glimpse into what I eat in a day. And I also am trying out a new lasagna recipe, which I share with you as well. If you're new around here, I would love if you subscribed and stuck around. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it really supports my growing channel. Yeah, without further ado, here's the video. As part of my everyday routine, I always start the day with a big drink of water because I haven't had anything to drink all night. And after that, coffee, always. My lovely husband made me a coffee while I was getting the kids their breakfast. Today, my son is having pancakes and my daughter has requested porridge. This week I've bought these instant oats because we have been waking up later and these are so quick and easy in the microwave. I just add milk and it takes less than two minutes to whip up. On my son's pancakes I add sugar-free maple syrup and I have also given them a small cup of orange juice today. This isn't an everyday thing though. On my daughter's porridge she has berry Greek yogurt and some sliced almonds on top. So it's finally time for me to have my breakfast and I would usually have the same thing as Teddy which is the berry yogurt and the almonds but this morning I've decided to have cream, some blueberries and some mixed nuts with a little bit of sugar free maple syrup which is delicious. Okay so it's just gone at 10 o'clock um, and I'm a little bit tired. My kids didn't sleep great last night. My son woke up at I don't know 1am and then we all just kind of tossed and turned for a, maybe half an hour. So we're all a bit, a little bit tired. Um, I need a little bit of a pick-me-up. So I'm going to have a second coffee. Um, you know, my anxiety is peaking. So why not add some fuel to that fire? So yeah, I'll have a second coffee. And that should probably, um, I would say that would tide me over until lunch. So yeah, I'm going to have a coffee, and then I'll see you at lunch, and I'll show you what I make. For lunch, I made a ham, cheese, and salad wrap on these Farrah low-carb wraps. I don't usually buy the low-carb wraps, but I thought I'd give these a try. I also always try and drink as much water throughout the day as possible, and I have my Frank Green on hand at all times. I also, more often than not, have electrolytes in my drink bottle to encourage me to drink more, and after that, I had one of these apricot and choc oat bars. While the kids are at daycare, I thought I would take the opportunity to cook dinner while they're out of the house to free up my evening. Tonight I'm making veggie loaded lasagna. I saw this recipe on TikTok and thought I would try it out. It's onion, garlic, carrot, celery and zucchini fried off with the beef mince. The recipe also called for capsicum but I didn't have any in the fridge. I also added some salt and mixed herbs for extra flavor and this is the mince I buy it's really lovely and lean then I add a can of passata because my kids don't really like the chunky canned tomatoes I also add about half a cup of water one thing I love adding which gives the meat sauce a really lovely flavor is balsamic vinegar and soy sauce I'm also trying out ricotta instead of bechamel just to see if it was nicer in any way, but it is a more expensive option. The ricotta sauce is just ricotta, parmesan cheese, and some frozen baby spinach that I had in the freezer. The recipe was supposed to be 500 grams of ricotta, but I only got the small one, and it was only just enough to cover the lasagna. I did enjoy it, but I will probably just stick to making a bechamel in the future. My father-in-law got me onto these lasagna sheets and they are so delicious. Then I layer it all up and cover it with foil and then pop it into the oven at 180 degrees fan bake for 30 minutes. I only put 25 minutes on the timer because by the time I filmed this it had already been in for 5 minutes. Then for afternoon tea I had eclairs that needed to be eaten so I defrosted some to share with the kids with some cut up fruit. And this is how the lasagna turned out. I probably should have cooked it for a touch longer, but the kids were wrecked. So I just served it up. 
And then Hugo and I were also having a glass of red with dinner and I also served it up with a big green salad on the side which the kids love. Actually my son didn't eat any of it because he's being fussy at the moment and that was everything we ate. <laughs>